here is your guys' homework number five um, help video, okay? So one of them I'm going to look at is number two, okay? Um, first thing to notice is <clears throat> A is two, B is three, and C is negative nine. And when you guys do your lovely X method, remember A times C up top, B on the bottom. <coughs> so what two number, or sorry, two A times C is negative 18 and B is three. So the two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but when added gives you guys three, that is six and negative three. Now again, notice everybody, A <clears throat> is greater than one. And if A is greater than one, then you guys have to factor this by doing the grouping method. So here's the first term, two n squared. Remember this three n, you have to break it off into the two numbers we just found. So it's going to be plus 6n minus 3n. <clears throat> Notice you guys, 6n minus 3n is positive 3n. <clears throat> and lastly, write your last term, which is minus 9. <clears throat> so you guys <clears throat> group these. Now, you group them by splitting them off into two separate groups. And now you guys can factor out the GCFs of both groups. From the first group, you guys can factor out a 2 and an n. 2 divided by 2 is 1. We took away an n, so there's just one singular n left over. Three, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we took away its n. <coughs> oh, so we just have n plus 3. Now, for this one, Notice there's a negative in the front, right? So we have to factor out a negative number and we know a three goes into three and nine. So that's gonna be negative three we're factoring out. Negative three divided by negative three is a positive one n. Negative nine divided by negative three is positive three. <coughs> now notice you guys, these match up, right? So we can factor out by taking away n plus 3 from both of them. Now we get n plus 3 times 2n minus 3. <coughs> okay, so that's number 2. I'm also going to look at number 7. Okay, here's our a value, 7, our b value, 53, and our c value is 28. X method, A times C up top, B on the bottom. <coughs> A times C, 7 times 28 is 196, and our B value is 53. Okay, this is hard because there's a lot of numbers you gotta guess and check, right? So if I did make a factors list, you guys, right? 2 times 98. <coughs> 3 doesn't go in there, but 4 goes in there 49 times. And <coughs> simply by guessing, checking, and trying to find factors, you guys, look. 4 and 49 is a combination. So 4 and 49. I'll put this over here. Now remember, your A value is greater than 1, which means you guys got to factor this by using the grouping method. Write the first term. Remember, the middle term breaks off into the two numbers we just found, plus 4a, plus 49a. And then, don't forget the last term, plus 28. <clears throat> you guys split this off into its two factors, and now you guys factor by grouping. The only thing we can factor out from this first group, you guys, is a, a. So we get 7a plus 4. For this one, you guys, between 49 and 28, you guys can factor off a 7. 49 divided by 7, 7a. 28 divided by 7, 4. And you guys look, both of those match up. So you can take away by factoring out 7a plus 4 from both of them. So 7a plus 4, and then the leftovers, right? a plus 7. Okay, I'll do one more for you guys. 
And the one I'm going to key in on is this one right here, number nine. Notice, <clears throat> before any time you guys do these, you always have to check is there something you can pull out first. And between 15, 27, and negative 6, you guys, you can factor out a 3. 15 divided by 3, 5n squared. Negative 27n divided by 3, negative 9n. Negative 6 divided by 3, minus 2. Now we can denote a is 5, b is negative 9, c is negative 2. <clears throat> a times c up top, b on the bottom. r a times c, you guys, is negative 10. r b is negative 9. <clears throat> the two numbers that multiply to negative 10, but when added gives you negative 9, that is uh, negative 10 <clears throat> and 1. And look, everybody, since a is greater than 1, that means we have to factor by grouping. Let me just check one thing real quick. Okay, <clears throat> factor by grouping. So the first term, right, 5n squared. The next term, remember, this breaks off into these two. So negative 10n plus 1n, which is just n. And don't forget the minus 2, you guys. Okay? <clears throat> now, factor these by grouping, right? From the first grouping, you guys can factor out a 5n. 5 divided by 5 is 1. You took away an n from n squared, so there's just 1n left over. Negative 10 divided by 5, you guys, is minus 2, and you took away it's n out, so all you have is n minus 2. Now, from the second grouping, notice there is nothing you guys can factor out. And if there's nothing you guys can factor out, the only thing you can do is just put a 1 out on the outside. And look, you guys, these match up, right? So you guys can factor out n minus 2 out from both of them. And then all you guys just have the leftover is 5n plus 1. Now you think we're done, but remember, remember the three we factored out in the very beginning. This is a Carroll's error that always occurs. So make sure you to remember to put the three in the front, front, because that what we put. Okay, so hopefully this helps you guys out and good luck on the rest of your homework.